Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue crew. This is Michael Gray playing Nancy Drew, the deadly device. In this video, we are making dreams come true. We are moving from dreams to reality with manufacturing design. I'm sure manufacturing design is the job of everyone's dreams. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartaches. Unfortunately, I'm not dreaming right now, so I'm going to have many, many heartaches as I try to solve this puzzle. You need four things in order to um, do something, right? We need etching solution, images, blank wafers, and this machine right here. So I have the image. This is the image I want on a wafer. Let's get the wafer. Wafer right over here in the cabinet. Use the key from Ellie's area. And there's your wafer. Now for the heartache portion. We need to make etching solution. And I don't think it's going to tell me what etching solutions are. It says what they do. It doesn't say what they are, though. Okay. This might just end up being a guessing game here. The book of solutions is right over here. And it tells us about all sorts of solutions, but I don't think it tells us which one is the etching solution we need. Unless I'm mistaken. Hold on a second. Let me read this again. Uh, PT. That's not potassium. What's PT? I know PE. That's when you go outside and play dodgeball or something like that, right? That That's PE. It's physical education. PT. Platinum. Ooh, hey, platinum. Isn't that the stuff they make trombones out of? I could be wrong. Uh, basically, I don't know what I'm talking about here, so I should stop talking. Silicon. Okay, so we have silicon wafers, right? I've already got one. It's a silicon wafer, so we're going to make the silicon etching solution. Hydrofluoric acid, uh, nitric acid, and water. So that's over here in the chemical area. We have uh, nitric acid. Oh, but we don't have hydrofluoric acid. Right. Okay, so hydrofluoric acid is here inside this area. It's um, inside the chemical place. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. And of course, it is locked. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. Okay, let's turn everything blue. Uh, let me see. In the middle. Like that. And from here, with the piece in the bottom left-hand corner, you can do this. Bottom left. Bottom right. Middle right. Upper left. Upper middle. And because that's a 3x3 three three board, you can rotate that in any direction. So say you've got a piece in the upper left-hand corner, you can do the exact same solution, just turned clockwise once. As you can see, Master Sleuth mode is pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, let's go with the middle piece here. Do gonna play around a bit until I have a piece in the corner. Okay, okay, so I have the piece in the bottom left hand corner. Same solution. Okay, bottom left, bottom right, middle right, upper left, upper middle. It's very handy that they have the solution to the puzzle drawn, you know, immediately underneath the puzzle. Doesn't make it a very secure lock, but it's great for me. There's hydrofluoric acid. There's the picture of the cool guy, because only guys with cool sunglasses can experiment in the lab. Okay, hydrofluoric acid is there. Now, how much am I making? So I am making 
two, two, one. Okay, so I have one thing of water and then twice as much hydrofluoric acid and then twice as much nitric acid. Is that it? Is that how percentages work? I I'm not sure. No, that's not percentages. That is ratios. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Y you can hear that, right? Right? That's that's the sound of somebody pounding on the door of the lab trying to get me to stop because they know I'm going to make everything explode. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm going to guess this means I have uh, one thing of water and then two, two of everything else. So let's say we have three water. Okay. Now let's go with six hydrofluoric acid. So the ratio will be two to one. Okay, now nitric acid is HNO3. Watch as this is a colossal failure. Okay, six, six, three. Let's see if that works. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why would that work? Oh my goodness. A scientific discipline that should almost never involve guessing. Okay, well, that involved random guessing. Okay, so how do ratios work? Okay, so let's pretend then that um, it's not 2 to 1, it's 2 to 2 to 1, which is 5. So that would mean like 20, 20, and 10? No, no, wait a minute. Okay, so if we have 10, it'd be 4, 4, and uh, 4. No, wait, wait, wait. 4 plus 4, yeah, 4, 4, 4, 4, and then 2. Okay, so that's 8, 8, and then 4? Something tells me I'm horribly wrong. Okay, four. Yeah, this is tricky because I don't know how ratios work. As, as I said earlier, hmm. Don't worry, I'll be able to solve this by the end of the video. Or not. Or not, why would I be able to solve it? Don't be discouraged. Mixing chemicals is just like cooking. Or what cooking would be like if it mainly involved throwing dynamite into the sun. Ooh. Ooh well, don't throw dynamite into the sun. That, that would just make everything explode. Okay, so I have solved this puzzle once on amateur sleuth mode with my friend Phoenix. So let's see if I can duplicate that solution. Okay, so that solution was three, one, and four. So it's three hydrofluoric acid, four water. Okay, so that's simple. Three, and then four. And it was one nitric acid. So you put the nitric acid in four, measure it out to three, which leaves one over here and you put the one inside and that's your solution so I guess I'll have to do the same sort of thing in master sleuth mode one water so four to three and we have one water and I need I need two hydrofluoric acid, so I guess I just do that twice. Funny how hydrofluoric acid is the exact same color as water. Huh. Did not know that. Oh, there's that pounding on the walls again. Okay, okay. And then two nitric acid. Okay, so yeah, I can see this working. This will be a solution. This way I don't have to worry about ratios. So it's a lot simpler. And that should be it. Two, two, one. All right, and that's our solution. 
Literally, we, we got a solution, a mixed solution. Fantastic. Okay, so the etching solution, according to the book, goes where? It goes up in there, and then the picture goes here, and then the wafer goes at the bottom. Okay, so, solution here, picture here, wafer here, and then I press start. And it's going to take about, you know, half a day, give or take, so... Let's skip forward in time to the time machine! AKA, Nancy's alarm clock. Where am I? Where am I? Come on, here we go. Time machine! There we go, okay. Time machine, everybody! We set the time machine for night time! Please let this work, please let this work. I don't want to do those etching solutions all over again. And, and, yes, maybe, maybe, there's the circuit board we made. Now we just need to try it out. Come on, come on, please work, please work. It worked! All right, everybody, we fixed the musical Tesla coil.